we are going to start scissoring now. We've already set the tail in, shaved the feet, shaved the face, and done all the prep work, including bathing and fluff drying the coat. So for, before we scissor, we take a comb, either you can use a long tooth, longer tooth poodle comb, or a smaller greyhound comb, and you want to comb through the coat, making sure that it's fluffed up and that there's no tangles in there that are going to get in your way when you're scissoring. And to scissor the poodle, we want to start with the rear angle, and then we're going to match that to the front so that we have the correct rear angulation that matches up with the shoulder angulation that leaves the dog looking square and balanced as possible for correcting bone structure as needed when we're scissoring. So the first step to doing the rear is going to be to bevel in, bevel in your line from where you set your tail. And in this case, it's, it, is a, it is a diamond shape into the base of the tail. So on Poppy, we have a, a diamond shape going into the base of the tail rather than a U. Um, the previous groom, they went up a little bit far, so we are correcting that now. We do want, when the tail is set and held up, we do want to see it sitting nicely on the top of the back, like so. So once we've beveled that tail set in on each side, we're going to go ahead and continue with the upper. Upper thigh. I'm not exactly cooperative here. Alright, so we have we scissored in the angle here and here and matched it up to the other side. And then we're going looking at the front. We do want the point of rump to match the point of shoulder. And so I am going to go ahead and set that in. So this angle here we want to match with this angle right here matching in with the, the point of shoulder so that the center of the chest is going to uh, be level with the point of rump and you'll end up with a balanced dog all over. So once I've set these angles in, then I can take my long scissor. You can use uh, anything from seven to 10 inches. And I'm going to scissor all over the dog and using a method that you wanna hold the scissors level without bouncing. And we're gonna connect these angles from the front to the back and then we'll move on from there. So, and then scissoring over the top, you don't wanna bounce at all. Every time you pick up your scissors, as far as bouncing, you're gonna leave a little gouge in the coat. Now here I'm gonna blend in this area that we're repairing on the tuck up. And you wanna think of your scissors as manual clippers that you're moving along, your thumb is moving along the cutting edge. And I go as far as I can with it, then I'm gonna comb up and take a look. And I'll do, when I'm pretty happy with it, I'm gonna go once more over. In order to get this top of the rear looking nice and neat and finished, it's already been, been beveled. Okay. okay, now my next step is going to be I really have broken this into four parts, so I'm going to do the top, the upper rear here, I'm going to do the upper rear on the other side, then I'm going to connect the bottom to the front, and the bottom to the front on the other side. Okay, so we have completed the top of the left side of the rear and the, and the opposite side of the rear, and made them match and balance on each side and symmetrical, and now I'm going to do the bottom of the rear leg. 
Poppy gets bell bottom, so all I'm gonna do is go kind of upward and slightly outward from the line that was left down here where you stop the clippers when you shave the feet. And we use the comb, combing straight down. It helps to get the foot out towards the edge of the table sometimes in order to get a nice bevel. <laughs> and you go around the foot, and again, remember not to bounce. Bouncing will give you holes. Once you get used to not bouncing, you'll find that you can get it pretty smooth and even, and the more you scissor in a spot, the smoother and more even it gets. So now, we want this to come straight down into that beveling of the bottom, which on her is a bell bottom. If it was a, a standard poodle leg, this would go upward and outward and taper down towards where you stopped shaving the feet. So I'm gonna start up here, I'm gonna blend that tuck up in area a little bit. Blend it into where we already scissored the hips. Smooth all this out. Blend it into the bottom of the leg. And then I am going to go ahead and scissor my angle here. We're not gonna show a knee here or anything. We're gonna scissor it straight down into the foot. She's really on the edge of that table. Okay, so your angle is coming straight down into that foot and then you're gonna scissor over the top and blend it all in. If she had a lot more hair than this, you'd be taking the length off first. She needs a little bit of hair right here where it was taken off earlier. And so I'm just gonna ignore that area and scissor around it so that we can grow that out. And in two weeks when we scissor her up again, she'll have more hair there. Her hair grows pretty quick. The idea is to have the tuck up at the right spot so that you get the correct angle on the legs coming down into the bell bottom of the foot. Go over again. The beauty of a longer scissor is that it takes less time to finish because you're cutting off more hair at one time. So you want to show good rear angulation and show this coming down into the hock with an equal amount of hair all around the foot, around that hock joint. Visualize my line going up and down. Anything that goes outside of that, I'm going to remove. And when I comb it out, and here's my line, anything outside of that, I'm going to remove. Once I set my line, then I can come in and go scissor over it and blend it all in. And you see that we have an equal amount of hair going all around the hock bone, equal on both sides, and a nice clean line on the inside of your rear legs.